third of the world's entire food supply could be saved by uh, reducing wasted food. A shocking statistic, and with us we have Dominica, who works for Feedbook, Feedback Global, uh, which is an organization who tries to stop this. Dominica, you organize lots of events in Europe, and now you're expanding to the United States. You start in New York. What exactly do you do at your projects? Um, we organize large-scale national events where we serve 5,000 people food that would otherwise have gone to waste for free as a way to celebrate the delicious solutions to food waste. Okay, so you are uh, handing out the, the wasted food and you're partying and dancing, but what are you exactly solving? Um, we're solving the problem that a third of the world's food supply is currently being wasted. And the, this is a fantastic problem in a way because it's got a really simple solution. You need to eat the food. And we, do, we just demonstrate that in a really practical way. And we show through the event and through sourcing all this food um, how it's wasted both on farms, um, manufacturing and in shops. And through saving the food and through um, also showcasing the projects um, that save the food on a regular basis, um, we really create a public outcry and bring national attention to the issue so that it's recognized as a priority by politicians, by businesses and by the general public. And now you're starting a dancing event in New York, but you also organized a wasted food event in Africa. That doesn't yeah. seem exactly to be the issue in Africa, right? Well, that's what everyone is surprised by when we when you actually um, tell people that um, Africa there's a lot of food waste in Africa due to the fact uh, of cosmetic standards. So, um, for example, farmers in Kenya supply Western supermarkets who say that beans have to be a certain shape and size to fit into the perfect plastic boxes. What that means for farmers is that they have to routinely um, waste about 30% of their um, green beans, for example. Um, because they need to chop them from one end and um, from the other, and that has a you know that's a ridiculous situation when you, in Kenya about 10 million people live in um, food insecurity. So we highlight these issues and we actually challenge the supermarkets to change their sourcing policies and, for example, not to cut off the ends of the beans. It's a very simple solution, but it makes a huge, huge difference to the farmers um, in Kenya. Yeah, it totally makes sense, Dominica. Thank you so much. And if you want to know more about this, these projects and the website, check out the link below.